Welcome to the first episode of the Call of Duty Zombie series. Today, we will take you on a journey through the dark corners of one of the most iconic maps in Call of Duty history, Nac Der Unter 10, also known as Night of the Undead. Nac Der Unter 10 is much more than just a zombies map. This is the legend that started the entire series of zombies mode in Call of Duty games. It first appeared in Call of Duty, World at War as a surprise for players, discovered only after completing the campaign. This map not only presented players with unique challenges, but also began to lead them on a fascinating journey through the history of the series. It begins in an abandoned airfield where a group of nameless marines face endless waves of the undead. However, like many other elements in the series, this map has evolved with subsequent editions of the game. Over the years, Nac Der Unter 10 has undergone numerous remasters and remakes, and its elements influence later maps and gameplay mechanics in the zombies mode. Thanks to its simplicity and intensity, it has become a cult experience for fans of the series around the world. Now we will take a closer look at the map and its impact on the development of the zombies mode in Call of Duty games. When the Lenac Der Unter 10 map appeared as an expansion for Call of Duty, World at War, it surprised players with its atmosphere and intensity. Despite several shortcomings, it quickly gained recognition, which prompted developers from Treyarch to continue the project under the name Anazi Zombies. The release of the map in a refreshed form in the Resurrection package was a step towards improving quality. Many small elements have been removed, some minor improvements such as fences have been added to prevent bugs, and the overall appearance has been improved. Another interesting element is the change of characters, replacing the original soldiers with new heroes. Trivia! This map has appeared in various parts of the series, from World at War to Cold War. In the original version of World at War, the map was preceded by an intro video, in Black Ops it was a comic book. Interacting with the radio in that hell room reveals various melodies. Power UPS are marked with name and duration. You drove them deep into the heart of the Rye. You thought they were dead. You were wrong. This is a fragment of the map description. Nacta Unter 10 is a classic zombie map that has evolved over time, becoming an iconic element of the Call of Duty series. From its first appearance in 2008 to subsequent remasters, this map has remained an important reference point for fans of the game. Nacta Unter 10, although initially modest and straightforward, has undergone significant evolution since its debut in Call of Duty, World at War. This map marked a new direction for the series, becoming an icon of the zombies mode. Originally set in an abandoned airfield where nameless marines had to face waves of zombies, Nac Der Unter 10 quickly became a favorite map for many players. Its simplicity combined with an intense experience attracted attention and became a reference point for future zombies maps in the Call of Duty series. Subsequent editions of the game introduced new elements, expanding and modifying the original map concept. In Call of Duty, Black Ops, the map received a new look, and players could enjoy a refreshed version of this classic map. The addition of the Ultimus character and new weapons gave the game new life, attracting both longtime fans and new players. Nac Der Unter 10 not only inspires emotion and sentiment, but also serves as the foundation for the entire Zombies mode in Call of Duty games. Its influence can be seen in later maps, gameplay mechanics and in gaming culture as a symbol of one of the most exciting experiences in the history of computer games. In the following years, this map was further remastered and modified, gaining new functions and adapting to the changing standards and expectations of players. However, despite the passage of time, the compelling story and intensity of the gameplay still make Nac Der Unter 10 a classic that holds an unshakable place in the hearts of Call of Duty fans. Night of the Undead is a map that has stood out for its characteristics and atmosphere since its debut in World at War. Built inside an abandoned building on the grounds of an airport, this claustrophobic space offers gamers a unique experience that has over time become iconic in the world of computer games. The map is small but very densely designed, with several rooms and barricades that provide the perfect backdrop for endless waves of zombies. Tight spaces mean players must be alert and agile to survive while avoiding direct hand-to-hand -hand combat with zombies. One of the characteristic elements of the map is its closed structure, which limits players' freedom of movement only to the interior of the building. 
the limited space forces the player to strategically position themselves to defend against the approaching hordes of zombies, while creating a challenge for even the most experienced warriors. Nactar Under 10 is also known for its numerous points of interest, such as the Mystery Box, which offers random weapons, and the variety of weapons available on the walls, which add depth and variety to the gameplay. In the Mystery Box, you can draw the Wonder Weapon Ray Gun. The atmosphere of the map is extremely dark and tense, with the reverberations of zombie screams and combat sounds that add realism and intensity to the gameplay. Additionally, the graphics and sound, combined with dynamic music, make players feel drawn into the world of the zombie apocalypse. Nactar Under 10 is a map that perfectly captures the spirit of the zombies mode in Call of Duty games, and its simplicity, intensity, and iconic status make it still one of the most beloved and recognizable experiences in the history of the series. The original Nactar Under 10 map has one surprising discovery that players can find throughout their adventure. It is a radio that can be found in one of the rooms with the word hell written on it. Interacting with this radio plays music, however the type of music varies depending on the map version. More Easter eggs have been added in subsequent remasters and remakes, making the player experience even more diverse and exciting. Another interesting fact is that on one of the doors to the room there is an inscription help, however the last letter has been blurred to form the word hell. This is a subtle reference to the atmosphere of horror and danger that awaits players inside. Additionally, there is an intriguing inscription on the wall next to the stairs leading to the first floor in the starting room, which could be another reference or a cryptic sign for players, encouraging them to explore further and discover hidden secrets on the map. Nacta Under 10 always ends when the wave of zombies finally defeats the players or when the players decide to end the game. However, even though every encounter on this map ends the same way, the player experience is always unique. The last moments spent on this iconic map bring a mixture of feelings, from relief at surviving another wave of zombies to sadness as the adventure comes to an end. For many players, the ending at Nac de Unter 10 is only a starting point for further challenges and exploration on subsequent maps of the zombies mode. Even though this is one of the earliest maps in the history of Zombies mode, its influence on the entire series is undeniable. Nacta Under 10 brought more than just a fight for survival, it introduced players to the world of a dark and constant fight against hordes of the undead, thus defining the character of the Zombies mode in Call of Duty games for years. Thank you for watching the video, if it was interesting and wanted you to see more such movies, let me know in the comment. Leave like and subscription for me to reach more people and can develop the channel and publish more new movies. See you in the next video.